Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you guys today? I am Tiffany. You know, we do the fibers. We do all these different sort of things on this channel. I know I look different. I'm wearing a red lip. Who am I at this moment? I don't know who she is, but um, we kind of dig it. I've never been confident enough to wear a red lip out like ever, but maybe like I look really nice in like the viewpoint. Like yeah, I thought since today is a slightly more festive video, you know, spice it up. So I thought it'd be really fun to talk about kind of Christmas ideas, kind of patterns or knit kind of crochet patterns that I thought would be really nice for the Christmas season. If you're looking to gift things for loved ones, friends, anything and above, I thought it would be really cool to go over some of the pieces that I've been really eyeing. We'll see if I even really have enough time for any of these things, but I thought it would be fun. This is this is gonna be a cute video. It is so long. We're gonna go through it and I'm gonna show you pictures of everything and how much they cost and some of them are free. So you're welcome. So let's get on with the video. Thank you, Ana Luisa, for partnering up with me for this video. I really like Ana Luisa because of their commitment to sustainability. They use low impact, clean and recyclable material, which I love. They use recycled sterling silver, recycled gold, uh, eco brass. On this channel, you know, we are all about sustainability. So they're having a Black Friday sale right now. They're doing, I think 20% off of most of their things as well as maybe like 60% off at the height of their deal so definitely go check out the website yeah so here are the, some of the things I got I have I got this beautiful dainty little bracelet it's really cute and dainty I think it would be beautiful if you could like stack another bracelet onto it or something so on my ears I'm wearing um, these two are the mini huggy hoops which I think are just a really good basic kind of hoop um, I like wearing it in my helix. It's just like the perfect size. Um, and I really like, this is how it looks like. I really like that it has a clasp. So it's just really easy to put on. I always have such trouble um, with like certain sort of backings, but it's like as easy as that to put it on. So I also got the Sia Pro. I looped it onto uh, the mini hoop and I think it looks so nice stacked together. Like I think it'd be so fun if you did that with like different earrings and just had them kind of like hooped like this. This is just what it looks like. I think the little pearls are so adorable and I love the look of like these pins and like wearing them in your ears. I don't know why. I think that's just a weird thing that I really like. And on my front ones, I'm wearing the rock small because you know, I'm like obsessed with it and I wear it all the time in all my videos. So uh, definitely go check it out. Everything will be linked in the bio. So I use Black Friday as like an excuse to buy things for people um, just because like obviously it's right before the it's right before Christmas, so might as well get the deals. So if you are planning on gifting someone like jewelry or anything, I think for this Christmas, I'm gonna try to go um, wrapless. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to like not use any wrapping paper just cause I think it is like super wasteful. Um, and I think knitting stuff for people is a really good way to kind of encapsulate what you're making um so for example like if you were to get someone something like jewelry you can just make them like a knitted like pouch or like a knitted jewelry thing to hold it in I actually found one on Ravelry it's called the small jewelry box it's so cute I will be hopefully it will be right here it's just like this cute little thing. I think you put like maybe like a cushion inside so it like keeps it all secure and stuff. The pattern is 350, which I think is maybe a little kind of expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's so cute. Put little earrings on and then give them out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, now that I'm looking at it, she has other cases too. She has a ring box. Okay, well anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Next thing I've been looking at, I've been looking at tea cozies. I think buying someone like a nice pot of tea and then like knitting them like a little kind of cozy and just like giving it to them I think is the cutest thing ever. Um, you're gonna hear me say cute a lot in this video because everything I chose is cute, like come on. Um, so the pattern I found is the Cushy Smocked Throw and Tea Cozy. I think that is what it's called. It is free. You're welcome. It uses the smock pattern, which is the one that I use for the Jenny jacket. And you guys know I love the Jenny jacket. I think low key, like I'm gonna knit this one for myself, not even to like give to other people, but like, you know, is mine. Um, and I think it's just really cute and cozy. Another alternative, because I've been on a weird tea cozy kind of like rabbit hole. Um, it is called the Seed Stitch Pom Pom Tea Cozy. Uh, which I will put right here. I just think the colors that they chose were absolutely amazing and like low-key It's so adorable. Like how could you not want that? I think if you are early into tea 
like I've been really okay honestly this is probably gonna be like a 30 minute video um, but I've been really into wanting to buy loose leaf tea I think I don't know why I'm not really liking tea bags but I think it'd be fun to be a little bit more oh I hate using the word sustainable but that's like the only thing I can think of like I'm trying to like have less waste if that makes any sense um, another great gift I think which I will advocate sorry I have this pen because I have my notes down here um i've been advocating is socks socks are so easy to make i know it's tempting to knit someone a sweater but please think about your hands they are going to hurt if like if you're going to make a bunch of things for your family members and friends um but hopefully these pieces are small enough that you guys can handle them because they're easy they're simple like everyone wears socks if you don't you're kind of odd but also maybe if you live in a hotter climate Okay, what am I even thinking? Of course, of course people don't, of course not everyone wears socks. Okay, anyway, I think it is a great gift. I love the Sunday sock. I love the everyday sock. Those are my go-tos. I also really like uh, lace socks. Maybe if you wanted to try something a bit different. I also really like Darling J'adore. She has some really nice socks as well as like lace socks. Um, I think most of her patterns are like buy a couple, get like one free or something, which is convincing me to buy more, <laughs> essentially. But uh, if you're also looking for free socks, there's a bunch of free socks in Ravelry, so definitely don't think that you need to go and get kind of basic socks. Yeah, and there are also just like a bunch of videos online that show you how to make socks, so. Uh, next thing I've been looking at are Christmas items, just like to, like decorations in your house. You don't have to give these to people, but like I am gonna knit these for my home um, in the future or maybe soon after after i have time after i've stopped knitting for other people um but the first one i'm obsessed with is the snow bubble tree skirt it is on ravelry it is seven dollars which like hurts me a little bit but i think it's worth it i think i'm gonna get it because it is so 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 cute my family has never really had a tree skirt it's always been kind of like ugly but i think this one is just so cute the bobbles like the size i think it just fills up the look i've also been looking at there are these christmas ornament covers i am so sorry all of your wallets are gonna die right now um <laughs> but it is like these crochet like to be extra like there's no reason to have these except to be extra you can crochet little like covers over your ornament balls if you have any you could totally keep some for yourself but also give them to other people because it's so adorable and so cute for christmas this girl i think suzanne allen i don't know if you want me to talk about you online but um she has like a set of them that you can make and they look adorable i think they're so oh my gosh if i have some time i'm gonna make some because i think just that added extra like like I think the prettiest Christmas trees are always the ones that have the most on them. So I think having like put everything on your tree, I think would make it beautiful. Definitely gonna be making like the whole set of them in the future if my family allows me to. The only problem is, is if the ornament breaks, then you're doomed. Next um, are again, just cozies. I guess this has to do with my, similar to the tea cozy. Um, I found this one on Ravelry. It is called The Cable Cozies by Emily Kintig. I'm so sorry, I said that absolutely wrong. But she has these really nice cozies for like wine. Like if you wanna give a bottle of wine to someone, you give it with a cozy or like a cup cozy as well as an espresso, pre an espresso press onesie. No, an espresso, an espresso press, an espresso press, is that what they're called? Um, cozy um, it just looks like that <laughs> they're so cute I think it has a set but like even just like giving someone wine I think it'd be so cute to kind of like knit it in something there's like a bunch of other things on uh, Ravelry again I've found everything on Ravelry but this pattern is actually free as well so if you wanted to try something different and try some cables like try this out it seems like a really easy pattern and it's just like an adorable set to have you guys know I'm all about the sets so okay okay Okay, Pearl Soho. That is all I have to say. Pearl Soho, if you don't know, you have to know. This is me now letting you know. Pearl Soho is a great website for free patterns. I think they have such a great selection of free things, both crocheting and knitting. I don't know why they're so generous. It's so amazing. All their pieces I think are beautiful. Um, just some pieces that I have in mind that I think are really easy, uh, that I think are really nice. There's the crocheted set of three pot holders. 
pot holders, you got the granny square placemats, the color half and half washcloths. Like if you're ready to go all out and give these to people, do, oh my goodness, they are beautiful. Um, I low key just wanna make them for myself. So I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'm honestly, I am such a selfish knitter. I am so sorry, everyone. Those are kind of just like really easy, like simple pieces that you can make for people. Honestly, don't know what's stopping me right now. Like, oh, I think in the future when I'm giving gifts to people, they're just gonna get these. I think it's just so fun. And I really should have started this before, so that's why. Yeah, again, these are just ideas, but they're all ones I really wanna be making right now. <laughs> now, the beloved Petite Knit. You guys know, we love Petite Knit. I think she has some great pieces for giving, uh, especially like a lot of her smaller like accessory pieces that she's been coming out recently. Um, if you guys have seen, as you guys all know, we love the Honey Collection. I think all of her things are amazing, uh, as you all know. The Honey Bag, I think definitely I'm gonna make someone that for Christmas, like a honey purse, I think is also really nice. Like if you're wanting to give someone like a gift card, like you can just put the gift card inside it and then just give it to them. Sign sealed delivered, I'm yours, you know? So I definitely think those are really cute. Same with like a bucket bag. I think if you were to make the bucket, the honey bucket bag like a little longer, you could easily wrap it and give it to someone uh, with like a bottle of wine or something. Oh my God, am I just giving myself ideas right now? But yeah, I think, um, I think those are really nice. Also, her hats are beautiful. I think giving anyone a hat is really nice. Yeah, but also remember, uh, these people aren't crazy <laughs> like me. So I have to remember that I can't really be giving everyone like wool and like mohair because what happens if they're gonna wanna wash it? So um, remember, think acrylic. I think acrylic is always safe because you can wash them and it's not a big dealio. She has like a couple Christmas things. She just came out with the Let's Christmas sweater for kids. And I think that one is a really cute uh, knit. If you have like a nephew or something and you want to do something a little festive, she also has some Christmas hats, which I think are adorable. Um, but I can't get myself to knit one. I also think knitting someone's stockings is really cool. So uh, I've been on the hunt for a really nice stocking, just maybe like for myself. I really like the Afton streak she has, or Afton Strick, I'm so sorry. Um, she has this really nice stocking. Um, let me look. It is the... It is the Afton stocking uh, and I've been really tempted to make it. I think it's really cute. I've I've always wanted like a customized one that has like my name on it. So um, maybe in the future I will get it and knit it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be such a long video. Okay, okay. I also just wanna mention Debrasse. If you guys know her, um, I really like her stuff. It is mostly crochet, but she does have knit stuff. You, um, She has the Savon set, which I think is beautiful. It's just like these really nice washcloths that I think are really easy to make. Um, as well, she has like blankets and like pillows, which I think are really cute. Maybe crazy because blankets, I've never made a blanket and I don't know how I could ever do it, but it seems really tedious. Um, she has really nice pillows like the Labadi. Yeah, as well as some cute little trinkets here and there. Um, lots of home goods. She has the Nord, which is like these earmuffs, which I think are adorable. Just like little things here and there. Like this, oh, she has the Mar. It's like a pillow. It's like one of those twisted knot ones that I really want to make. I think those ones are nice. And she also has some really nice, what are they called? Like head wraps, I think. Um, she has some really nice ones as well. And she also has a lot of Christmas decoration ideas as well. If you want to go check out those, like the wreath, the Vic tour, um, and stuff like that. So definitely go check her out and then i have just one i just have one we just have one more last one we'll be done don't worry this video is so long already but i don't care because i love you guys know i love talking <laughs> um for hours really but it's also really fun to just talk about like ideas which i feel like i don't talk about often okay last but not least uh stuffies i think if you want to give something to like a little like a little baby or like a little cute little baby. Um, I think Out of the Thistle is my favorite store. I have yet to buy anything from them because I can't get myself to make one of these. I don't know why, but I've been really obsessed with like making, like knitting stuffies and then knitting clothing for stuffies because it just is such, it's so adorable. Like I'm such a geek. Like it's such a geeky thing to get geek over, but I think 
it is adorable. So she has like a bunch of animals that you can knit. So like a rabbit, she has sheep, um, I think like reindeer and kind of stuff like that. Uh, she also has patterns for like sweaters or like or like dresses or like pants and like overalls and it's just so adorable. I'm definitely gonna make one at least like for my kid in the future because they're so adorable. I'm just gonna like make one for myself. If you're really into stuffies and making stuffies, um, I also recommend Knit a Teddy. I really like her stuff. Her stuff is so, 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 so affordable. I think the prices for her um, things are like honestly so cheap. Like you need to get them. Everything will be linked in the description, no worries. But she has the like honestly, the most detailed, the cutest stuffies in the entire world. They remind me of Build-A-Bear. So um, I really, oh, it's so cute. She has like reindeer, she has Mrs. Claus, Santa Claus, like a little, oh, the cutest things ever. And they're such an affordable price. Like honestly, they're like two to four dollars. Like come on and like you can get outfits for them, so. Yeah, so that is my spiel. I hope that gave you guys some inspiration for some ideas that you might want to make for other people and gift others for, I don't know, like Christmas or just like if you wanna, you just wanna be nice and give something to someone because I know I've been knitting a lot of things for myself and there's no more room in my closet so I think I really should start knitting things for other people. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any other suggestions for any other videos, any, maybe if you guys want more ideas, I'd love to come up with them. Like uh, maybe like my favorite sweater pattern patterns or like free patterns or kind of my favorite designers or like um, pattern designers or like knit designers I think would be really fun to make and I could talk for hours about them so uh, yeah just let me know in the comments and I would be honestly happy to do that uh, yeah so I stream on Twitch uh, Thursdays and Sundays hopefully we'll add another day we'll be gaming hopefully in the near future uh, join the discord we talk about uh, progress finished pieces like yarn all day we talk about like yarn sales it's a very it's a very dangerous place but I love it you can find me on Instagram and hopefully I'll get a better kind of YouTube schedule up. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely go check out Ana Luisa and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.